Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a really quick, really simple and really easy to use camera shake system in Unity. Let's get right into it. So firstly, my setup is I have a regular main camera and I have a square with an image. And this image is going to represent our game so we can see the shake effect in action. So firstly, in your assets folder, right click, go on create and then go to C Sharp script and then call it camera shake. Once you've opened up your camera shake script in Visual Studio, I want you to do private vector free original position and private bool is shake and equals false. So the first variable stores the original position of the camera so we can return to it after shaking. And the private bool is shaken equals false is our boolean variable to keep track of whether the camera is currently shaken. And you'll see why we need this in a moment. Then in the start function, we're going to do original position equals transform dot local position. So when we start the game, we're going to get the original position of the camera. So underneath our update function, which we're going to leave empty for now, by the way, we're going to be making a public function. We're going to do public bool shake camera, float duration, float severity, bool vertical and bool horizontal. And then we can do if is shaking, do a return. And then we can do start coroutine, shake, duration, severity, vertical and horizontal. Let's break this all down. This is going to be our public function and we can call this elsewhere in our program to basically tell the camera to shake. Maybe you step on a pressure plate that makes the ground fall and you want to shake the screen when you do so. You will be calling this function and you can pass in a duration. How long do we want the shake to go on for? The severity is how strong is the shake? And for vertical and horizontal, they're booleans, which will specify if we can shake this vertically and horizontally. So we can either shake it just vertically, just horizontally, or both horizontally and vertically at the same time. And this is a guarded if statement. If we're already shaking the camera, we're going to do nothing because we don't want to then shake the camera even more if we're already shaking it. And then we're going to start a coroutine which will do the camera shake. And we're going to make that coroutine in a second and we pass in our four parameters to specify what kind of shake we want. So now we're going to do private enumerator shake. Then we do float duration, float severity, bool vertical and bool horizontal. So here we're just going to be passing in the same values we had here. And then we do original position equals transform dot local position. If your camera is always going to stay in the same spot throughout the game, or maybe it's a child of your player, you may not need this. But if your camera is going to be moving about during the game, you want to get the local position it's at before the shake. Then we're going to do is shaking equals true. And this is going to be a boolean to basically tell our camera we are shaking. So if you try to do another shake while we're shaking to ignore it. Then we're going to do a while loop. And we're going to do while duration is greater than zero. And we're going to do vector free shake offset equals sector three dot zero. Then we do if horizontal shake offset dot x equals random dot range minus one to one times severity. And if vertical shake offset dot y equals random range minus one to one times severity. And then we do transform dot local position equals original position plus shake offset. Then we do duration minus time dot delta time and yield return null. So this while loop will execute while there's still time left to shake. And then we do a vector free for our shake offset and we're going to start with no offset. And then if horizontal is enabled, we're going to set a random horizontal shake offset based on our severity. And we're going to do the exact same thing again if we're vertical, but for a vertical offset for our severity. Now, then we're going to do transform.local position equals original position plus shake offset to apply the shake offset to the camera position. And then we do duration minus equals time dot delta time. This reduces the duration by the time since the last frame. And yield return null just pauses the coroutine until the next frame. And we're going to do this until we've run out of time for our shake. Underneath that, we can then do transform.local position equals original position and is shake and equals false. So we're going to then set the camera's position to the original position after the shaking is done. And then we can do is shaking equals false because we're no longer shaking. Now there is one more thing we need to do, but you don't need to do this. I'm only going to be doing this for testing purposes. I am going to in the update function do if input.getKeyDown is key codes W, we're going to then call our shake camera function. So I'm going to do a duration of 0.5 seconds, 
a severity of 0.05 and enable horizontal and vertical shakes. And that's all the code you're going to need so you can save your work and go back into Unity. Then go to your main camera and drag and drop your camera shake script onto it. And after that, you can then click the play button. So I'm going to press the W key and you saw a little shake. This is a good shake to maybe occur when a pressure plate has been triggered. So let's go back into our code and change it up a bit. So I'm going to do a severity of 0.01 for one second, but I'm going to disable vertical movement. So let's see what that looks like. So if I do that, as you can see, there was a decently sized shake that only occurred horizontally. And this code is really good because now you can call this public function wherever you just want to make the camera shake and then you've got everything set up for it to do so. And if I spam the W key, we're not going to get any longer of a shake. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.